What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be announcing the first round of the year for Readorama. If you don't know what Readorama is, it's a pretty thon that I've been co-hosting for a couple years now with Chloe from Burnett Bibliophile and our new co-host Kathleen from For the Love of Books. This round is happening from Sunday June 6th to Saturday June 12th. This round we're bringing back the bingo board created by yours truly with all of the challenges. The bingo and the challenges are always optional but if you do want to participate in the bingo, the goal is to get a bingo or black out the board. You can also double up on challenges. We're really relaxed here at Readorama. Now on to the challenges. The first challenge is to read a book in a different format. This can be an ebook, an audiobook, or a graphic novel. For this, I am recommending the audiobook for On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, narrated by Bonnie Turpin. This was one of my favorite audiobooks of the year. I listened to it in January and I fell in love with it. This is about a teenage girl Brie who is an aspiring rapper and her song goes viral. The audiobook is Chef's Kiss. It is so good and Bonnie just brings Brie's character to life and the music is incorporated. So if you're looking for an audiobook for this round of Readorama, I can't recommend this enough. Next is our Rama challenge. This is to read a book with Rama in the title or author and you can even combine. Some examples are me and my dad and the end of the rainbow we have r a m a all american boys by jason reynolds and brandon kylie there is rama in american and because i cannot go a video without recommending the beauty that remains this was just too easy r a m a next is favorite genre and this is to read a book in your favorite genre since this round is hosted in June, which is Pride Month, read an LGBTQIA plus book. This could be the author or a character. I'm going to recommend Aiden Thomas. They are a queer, trans, and non-binary author. I have only read Cemetery Boys, but I loved it, and I have heard nothing but great things about Lost in the Neverwoods. Next is to read a backlist book, and we're defining this as a book that is over one year old. I'm going to recommend He Who Dreams by Melanie Florence. This came out in 2017. This is about an Irish and Cree boy who learned how to dance and he gets more in touch with his heritage. Pet by a Quake Mezzi. This came out in 2019. It has a trans girl who is selective mute and it has a great fantastical element. This is a non-binary author. They are Igbo and Nigerian and I love this book so much. Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed is about a black woman who is racially profiled at a grocery store when she is babysitting with a white family and this is written by a black woman. It's awesome. I loved it. I just read it in one of my videos. Read a book featuring water. You can interpret this however you want. I interpret it as water on the cover. My recommendation is This One Summer by Marika Tamaki and Jillian Tamaki. This is one of my favorite graphic novels. It is set during the summer. I will link the story graph link down below so you can see more of the trigger warnings for all of the books I recommend. Then read a book with disability representation. I'm going to recommend a book that I just read and loved so much. It is a graphic novel in the DC universe. This is The Oracle Code by Marike Nijkamp. I loved this so much. This is own voices for the wheelchair user representation and Marike is autistic. This is about Barbara Gordon who is shot and is now a wheelchair user and it is about her trying to uncover this mystery. She is sent to the school that helps her learn the skills to operate her wheelchair. There is a lot of internalized ableism so if that is something you can't read I don't suggest this but I really enjoyed it. Last is to read a BIPOC author, which stands for Black Indigenous Person of Color. And I recommended a bunch in this video, but I have two I'll recommend. First being Caddy Wampus by Ash Van Otterloo. This is an Appalachian book written by an indigenous non-binary author. This is a middle grade mystery book following two girls, one of which is intersex, and it is so awesome. I loved it so much. I also recommend The Henna Wars by Adiba Jagadar. Such a great book. Trigger warnings for homophobia and cultural appropriation and any others will be linked down below. All of my recommendations fit many of the other prompts, but if you're looking for something specific, feel free to comment it down below. We're also hosting a $15 giveaway. This is international to the book depository or Amazon. Amazon, depending on where you live. To be entered, you must attend one of our live readings on Instagram or YouTube. We're all going to host them on our individual channels, and there will be a big one at the beginning and end of the week. 
on Chloe's channel with all of us. They will be saved on our channels and on Instagram for international viewers and we are going to give out a code word and instructions on how to enter the giveaway with the code word. You need the code word to enter the giveaway and there will be multiple chances to attend and there's also bonus entries but the main goal is to have the code word. All of the lives will be saved to our channels and YouTube so for international viewers you can still participate. There's a schedule for the read-ins that will be posted it on our social medias which will be linked down below and I'll also post it to my community tab. It is very important that you have my notifications on so you won't miss anything and you get to read it with me. I have never hosted a read-in on my channel before so I'm excited and if this goes smoothly maybe I will continue it on my channel. We have Instagram photo challenges for this round which I always find really fun. I think I covered everything. Go and check out Kathleen and Chloe's videos and subscribe to them. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Thank you all for watching and mark your calendars for June 6th to June 12th. Bye.